Hello, 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 this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my Sparta campaign. This is Total War Steam Achievement Attempt. Oh my god, look at that Roman army over there. <laughs> That's a way to start an episode. I didn't even notice them. Oh, it's okay, they're only slingers. They're levies. And mercenary cavalry, but they have a ship which probably got most of their main units on it, so that's not a good start to this episode. Commander. Bit concerned, but we'll try our best, so I need to re be recruiting some more units, don't I? Can this army actually move? Nope, can't Advance. move. Um, got a lot of replenishing to do. Uh, let's, go for some, for let's go for some hoplite units. So we have three provinces so far. We have, well, we have Sparta, we have Athens, and we have Clarissa. And we are at war with everybody at the moment, which is good news, or bad news. I see it's good news because we are trying to go for the achievement, although I do highly doubt we will be able to get that achievement. But we'll try our best. So I think we can end turn, and see what happens in this end turn phase. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, we can... I could auto-resolve this. I might be wise to auto-resolve this, actually, but... Um, yeah, I'm going to auto-resolve because it's in my favour. Oh, very high, remaining force protective. We'll go with this one. Oh, we jumped out there. Slash, slash, slash. Close victory, we kill the captives. Take that, you bastards. And there we go. Our armies must be very, very weak at the moment. It's not good news at all, I'm afraid. Bithynia, Budina, Cyprus. Many, many factions in this game. I do love the whole, um, how big the actual map is in this Total War game, and how many factions there actually are as well. There we go, so lots of things happen here. Increase in rank, which is always a good thing, so we'll do that to begin with. And we will go with... Uh, missile units will do, and... Charge bonus, I like that. And we can go for another one by here. Authority when Admiral, nope. General army recruitment costs, that'd be nice. So that will do for that army. And uh, this army... Hang on, let's just check while we're researching. Upkeep for fleets, don't need to worry about fleet at the moment. Um, run speed for all land units. That's the ship as well. Attritional loss. Uh, siege holdout time. That could be useful, we'll go with that for now. We hunger and it looks like Rome are going to cause trouble, I'm afraid. They are going to cause trouble indeed. I'm going to camp up by Clarissa at the moment, try to defend this province as best as I can actually recruit something as well, what gives me some garrison. Spartan use, Perioikai, Hoplites, Culture, Public Order, that'd be useful I think. Does that give me the most garrisons? Ooh, look at this, Public Order. I think I would go with this one because there's going to be a big, well it's actually 100% Hellenistic culture so there's no point going for a culture building. That's your command. Uh, we don't have much more to recruit, we'll go for the javelin unit there. Check diplomacy once more. And we're at war with everyone, so that's good. And we should end the turn again. So we're quickly going through the end turn phases at the moment. See if we get attacked this turn. And if so, we'll probably fight this battle. I don't know whether to go for Rome or to go for Macedon at the moment. I'm trying to think what might work, what might actually be the best for me to do. So. Um. Have to wait and see. Ooh, and here we are. Back on the campaign map, and... We hunger for battle, we hunger for battle indeed. Right, we need have nine units here, we have we 12 here. Battle. So between them both we have a full stack. And a matter of fact, I think I'll actually do that. I'll send Ready for battle. pretty much everything in this army over. There we go. Give him a full stack. Oh, here we go. 
That looks much better already, doesn't it? We've got a nice balance of infantry and missile troops. And then we, we can start building a second battle. army here. We'll go with we need a couple of slingers, periodic spears to begin with. This is probably my weaker army for now. Not much I can do about that, I'm afraid, but I have to wait and see. The good thing is, though, if Rome does try to attack me, they've got to go through the Clarissa. Same with Macedon, if they got to attack me, they got to go through the Clarissa as well. Sparta and Athens aren't really that happy with me, are they? Need to be rebuilding some of these buildings, I'm afraid. Do that in the next turn. So we're just going through these turns quickly now. I can't get over how simple legendary... I wouldn't say simple, but how passive legendary campaign is. This is my first legendary campaign for Total War Room 2, and I've been quite surprised. I think I've won... What was it? Two or three battles? I think I've lost two. So I've won more than I've lost. And I've actually gained some territories, and Rome could have easily attacked me then and wiped uh, Clarissa out. Same with Macedon. Well, well, Macedon did attack me, but you know they didn't didn't do a very good job. Could repair this. I probably need to repair this. That costs what's the cheapest? I'm gonna go with this one. Need to repair this. Try to get the public order back on my side. I need to attack somebody else again soon. Try to cripple them. So we'll go for some more infantry in this unit. We'll just go for the Perioikoi Spears. Are you ready to serve? Get another unit of them. Can I move this army Commander. out here? Probably not. You have further orders? Oh, we could, I suppose. Actually, we can move this one in. At your command. Take that off there. Stick him Excellent in there. And then recruit. Perioikoi Spears. We have also got a garrison in Clarissa of 10 units. So that's good. My main full stack army is going to go on the prowl. Do I attack Rome? Apollonia? Oh, they they were very well, they're very undefended at the moment. Might be worth it. Do I want to go that far east though and be involved in naval warfare over here in the Mediterranean? Probably not. So I think I'll go for Paler at the moment. If I take Paler out. At your command. At your command. If I go to Paler and get their next turn look. Can attack them from the land. Have Ready my secondary army not far away. Do I have any more generals, I wonder? Oh, we can recruit a statesman. Why not? We'll have him in Athens, just for now, just to give us something else to start building up in the future. So we'll end turn again, and we'll see what happens. Uh-oh. <laughs> Rome, look out. Oh, we're okay. They didn't attack me. That's the problem I got now. If I move the large army out from Clarissa, Rome can easily push a large force in and try to attack me. Which isn't going to be a pretty sight, so... We'll see what happens now as we go through the faction pages, the loading pages. Oh, we're nearly there. Volkai and done. Right. Troops recruited. And I think I can actually go for. Oh, it's going to be a hell of a battle, this is. 12 plus 2 plus tw 10 plus 8 plus 6. Oh my god. I'll never defeat Macedon. Is this the last province? I think it is as well. I could wipe out Macedon. I've wiped out Athens. I've wiped out Epirus. Do you know what? If I finish the campaign by wiping out Macedon and then getting wiped out myself, I'd be very pleased with that to actually take all of Greece. Well, apart from Apollonia, but ooh. Look at this. Oh, what do I do? can't really attack them. They've only got 14 units. Oh, Rome, what are you doing? What are you doing, Rome? Need to start recruiting down here as well, in that case. Um, just get some slingers. I know it's not much, but at least with slingers I can stick them on the walls and hold out for as long as I can. Uh, do I attack down here? I need to come back, I think. Damn Romans. I don't really want to come back, but unfortunately it must be done. Mm, go here in the trees. On the See if they can... If I can coax them to attacking me. Ah. Let's enjoy my drink. J2O. Shaken, not stirred. Uh-oh, what's this? Uh-oh. Spy? I think we got away with it. We'll find out now. Don't know what Rome's doing. 
They seem to not know themselves though. Oh, look at that, two armies in force march. If I could just reach them. So yeah, ideally I'd take Paler. But... I don't want to. So... Well, I do want to, but... The problem I'm going to have now, anywhere where I expand, I'm going to have enemies just wherever I go. If I go to Paler, then I've got Tylus, the Volkai, and whoever else in the north declaring war on me. If I go to the west, where Rome is, then I have Rome, Carthage, Libya, the Etruscan League, Syracuse. Oh, this fight. Um, go with this unit here, because he looks cool. And what can we do this turn? Damn Romans, but I can move this army still. That's yeah, I can still move this army. That's good news for me. Rome doesn't know what it's doing. I can't hit them this turn, which is a bit unfortunate. They may come down here, though. I wonder if I can... Fifty-five percent chance ambush. We we'll go there. March. I'm gonna put them into ambush mode. You have further orders. And ambush. They force march over the mountains down here. Bang! I got them there. This army can continue to we be uh, built up, but before that, we'll check our civil stuff. Um, tariff, wealth, all regions, wealth, agriculture. We'll go with that for now. And we need some more units here, don't we? I got a lot of slingers at the moment. Well, I got two units of slingers. Periodic spears and slingers again. So I do apologise. It is a bit boring at the moment, but it's all for a higher purpose. And that is my survival in this legendary campaign. Oh, look at that! They've pulled away, and Rome hasn't attacked me, so I can go straight for Pela, I think, from here. Excellent. If I can reach from where I currently am, I think I can as well. We will have a battle in this part then. We will have the Battle of Pela. And hopefully that'll be the end of Macedon. At least that's what the theory is. Here we are back on the campaign map. Oh, look at this! This army has just taken... Oh, well, we're going to have to declare war on them. Oh, we're ready to war with them, that's good. Um, okay. Apparently Macedon's around... Oh, they're there. I was going to take Paler. What have we got? They probably weakened from the last battle, I'd imagine. Where's my spy? Spy, where are you? Can they get... Oh, the spy can get there. That's good. Don't worry about Rome for now. Concentrate on Paler. Oh, look at this Rome. <laughs> Don't worry about Rome. There they are. Oh, I wish my spy can get past. It can. That's good. They are weakened. Right, here we go. We are going to do the impossible here. We are going to attack Paler with Rome nearby. And we're up Oh my god. I'm up against three armies. One, two. They are weak in mind, some of them. They got siege equipment as well. Do you guys want to see an epic battle? <laughs> Stay tuned. For I will fight this one now. Against all odds, 2,000 against... God knows how many. I think it was about 3,000. Over 3,000. Three capture points. Wall city. Do the Spartans care? No. <laughs> and if I pull this one off, um, I will upload a video of me twerking. <laughs> Sounds fair. Legendary difficulty. Two different factions against me. Three different armies. Only, oops, although one of them is just a small garrison army, but you know what I mean. We are attacking from land as well. We gotta try and pick. If I can pick a sort of choke point in this battlefield, stick all my spearmen and my hoplites into that choke point and get my javelin men to throw over the top of them, then I think we should be okay. We won't have the rain. We go for the dry weather. And I have siege towers. I have a front entrance over here. I can deploy anyway up on, anyway up on here. I could deploy on the beach. I can't remember if if Rome was uh, going to attack from the beach or if there any reinforcements coming from the beach. Um, I could attack from this side. Port right by there. Gate is over here. 
fairly secluded, two towers either side, or the other side of the battlefield, I think it's just the one tower I need to worry about over here. Yeah, I think we'll attack from where we are, so we need the one tower, they'll fire upon us. And we'll have these four Spartans! grouped up. Don't break formation. Stick them there. Get all of these guys into a group like so. Let's get my cavalry up as well. And the rest then form a line behind. Start the battle. Welcome to hell, my friends. Welcome to hell. I have come to battle like my forefathers in the expectation of victory. We will go over those walls and into their streets and homes. We will leave nothing but tears. Make ready. It's a nice speech, my friend. I think you all might die by the end of this battle, though. Don't know which other general is. Ooh, may they fire it on me yet? Don't know. Oh, they are right. Okay, in that case, let's uh, let's part, eh? It's party like it was 1999. Oh, and there's the tower right by there. Oh, I wish I had siege equipment. Where are the Romans? Where are thy Romans? They're not coming from behind me now, are they? I would scream if they started flanking me already. Don't look like they're flanking me. Although, with the line of sight, I probably won't be able to see them. They must be the other side of the battlefield. They were reinforcing, so I imagine they would be. Nice battlefield, though. Nice map. Pit you can't go down the slope there. That'd be a nice little... It's pity that the map couldn't go up to where the river is, up with the cursor. Be a much more epic battlefield, wouldn't it? I'd hide all my units in the forest, just beneath the brow of the hill. Try to coax them out from the building. I don't want to lose too many troops, so I think I'll actually use this one. And this one, to break the doors down. And these units are going to zoom forward, get into range, start giving me some cover and fire and attack Tylus. I was a bit confused because Rome's reinforcing because they're at war with me but they're not, I don't know if they're allied with Tylus so I want to know, you know, does that still, well obviously it doesn't affect it but um, I just found it a bit confusing, I thought that they had to be allied to actually join forces with each other in the battlefield. Why is my ladder stopping? What the hell is happening here? Don't tell me it's glitch for God's sake. Come on, get the ladder up, idiots. There we go. These guys, get your asses up there. Missile infantry ready. Get these gates down quickly, come on. Let's get these two units. Fire upon them. You can fire upon those two. You can fire upon them. These units can fire upon them, and this final unit here can fire on this one on the end. Just give some co uh, cover and fire. Try our best. Not, no, no point actually bringing the infantry in. Oh my god, there's the infantry. Right, I was right. They flanked me. That's how it's done, Spartan style, my friends. Phalanx, quickly. Phalanx. Phalanx. And phalanx. <laughs> Look at the micromanaging by you. I swear to god, it's panicking. And bring the cavalry out. Two battles going on at once. I'm the one that wanted this fight. It's my fault. And we're getting absolutely murdered by here at the moment. Attack the Verites, please, my friends. And fire this unit as well. Hastati going to charge me somehow. Cavalry. What have we got here? Hastati. Hastati. Right. Cavalry. Get out, please. And you. You can flank around. I think there's some units we can attack. Oh my god, look how many coming down the hill. <laughs> We're going to lose this battle here. I don't even know what's happening behind me. I'm just concentrating on this part at the moment. I wish I had more units than what I got at the moment. Citizen Gallery! Start charging them with some of this cavalry. Try and disrupt them. Oh, look at the levies. No matter of fact. I see a gap through the centre to go for the levies. Both my cavalry units. Get your asses through there quickly, come on. Look at the levies we can take out with the cavalry. The Romans are starting to break. We may actually do this. Come on, what's the cavalry doing? Get out, come on. That's right, get out. Charge them. They've left all their levies unguarded. We must attack them. 
I can actually beat the Romans by you. I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, my cavalry. My cavalry, I love you. Oh, come on. Just attack them all. Just go nuts and kill them. The more they start routing, the better. I've even got extra units by you to bring up. Come on. Get into the gap. Bring yourselves around. No, not you. This unit I wanted. Stop lobbing the hell out of them now. General! Let's give it a little bit of inspiration to this unit because they can use These guys are getting beaten back by the Hastati over here. Not the end of the world by any means. Doing very well. I'm very proud at the moment of these guys. How's the walls doing? Not very well. I've lost this part of the battlefield. Get your asses up there, my friends. And you. Keep my slingers attacking over there. Let's go back to this epic battle over here at the moment because I'm enjoying this. Even if I lose the battle, I don't mind this because we actually, my cavalry, I just went right through the gap through there. Bang! All the, all the missile troops just gone. Took the opportunity. At the moment, we're doing pretty well, I think. Very pleased. Let's have a little bit of a unit cam action because I'm enjoying this at the moment. <laughs> There you go. Did a bit of one-on-one -on -one action by there. Yep, excellent stuff. Oh, we've, we've been routed over here. 62. Yeah, cavalry can continue to chase the Veditates over the hill. Don't mind that. Get them away from the battlefield at the moment. They're going to actually flank around with this unit. Oh, what are you doing? Get back, you fools. Go for a charge. Boom, charge into the rear of them. There we go. And we start routing with that little break there. My pikemen are around the rear now. Bring them in. They can slowly come into the rear of this Roman army now as well. Start blobbing the hell out of them. Oh, my cavalry has been attacked. Don't mind this at the moment though. Both these units can start coming in. A little bit of inspiration to the men. My general. If you can, go around the rear. Probably best to actually go here with my general, I think. Switch it to phalanx quickly. There we go, we got to try to defeat these over here. Oh no, we're starting route over here. Lost one unit. If they can just hold on a little bit longer, I'll be very pleased indeed. Doing a very good job against them. Here we go. Here come the Hostati. Oh, they're throwing the feelers in as well. Let me fire. Surely we should do well against them. Also, the Velites are actually throwing them. Didn't quite kill all the Velites with the cavalry. That's a shame. And I have actually lost everything up here now. Only got 32% fire damage. They just couldn't get through. They had so much... I had to divide my force and probably wasn't a wise move, but if I can defeat the Romans, I will be pleased. There you go. The Velite's going to charge me, Bucks, I think. Are they going to charge me? They're shaken. Here they come. Velite's. Oh, death. Oh, right through the gut. And they're moping around and they are wandering away. Defeated them. Well done, men. You've done Sparta proud. Now we've got to try to get through the gate. I could actually withdraw, which probably, probably I think is the best thing for me to do. Is withdraw my army. We're not going to get through. I want to keep a unit, some units left on the battle, on the campaign map. So I'm going to get them to withdraw and just fast forward this battle now, because there's no there's no way I'm going to defeat. Tylus. I've barely touched Tylus inside the fo uh, uh, province, inside the castle, city. <laughs> Get there in a minute. So it's probably for the best that I just uh, take what I've still got. Still got my general, still got some units left. Bring them back over the line and then try to regroup. We've taken out the Roman army though, so I'm very pleased with that. 
and they were creeping up behind me as well. I didn't even know they were there until the last second. I quickly turned my units around, stuck them into phalanx, and then when the gap appeared, threw my cavalry through it. And yeah, that was a very that was a pretty epic battle. I was very pleased, very really really enjoyed that battle. You do come. Oh, why are they routing? Why are you guys routing? Don't route. Idiots. Strange. Very strange. But look at that. We defeated most of the Roman army, but we barely touched the barely touched Tylus. Even though they were already weakened from a previous battle, it just wasn't to be. I'm afraid. But these things happen in life. So we should still have its army, I'd think. Yeah, no, maybe. Do we still have this army? I do not know. Close defeat, right. Got somewhere. Retreat. We have to retreat with this army. Can we go back for any further? I don't think we can. No, we can't. Can we can change off? Oh, we could actually go into forced march. Any man who drops out is left and behind. get back to, to my province. Men. Matter of fact, I think I'll stick all of these in my army here. And then this general... We hunger oh, I could go here, but... Uh, I'm going to risk it. My general's going to come out here. Can't quite get to the city. Set up the watch. But I have reinforcements. Which I should probably bring out. No. Right, we'll end turn there. Not much I can do at the end of this turn. Oh, God, look at the Roman army here. I'll end turn. I'll see what happens. Uh oh. Here come the Romans. Here come the Romans. Oh my god. Right. We have another battle. Ah, oh, I can't save before a battle on legendary difficulty. Okay, guys, I tell you what. I will end the episode there. And I'll fight this battle now. And then that'll be in the next episode. So, hope you all enjoyed. Until next time. Goodbye.